About a week ago, I pinched a beaver here, and this beaver is smart. And the reason I know he's smart, we got chew sticks that are fresh there, chew sticks that are fresh up there, and he is not entering this set. So, what we are going to do is come right down here, and we're going to make another set with sack oil only. Got plenty of deep water back here. What I'm going to do is dig this bank out a little bit. We're going to set up for a front foot catch. I got my sack filled up. We're going to throw this out deep. All right, I got traps set at about three, four inches of water. We're gonna use his chew sticks. We're gonna make it look like another feed bed. Another beaver was here. And this sack oil is what these beavers use to groom themselves. This is their body odor. Take this little stick, put it in this sack oil, twirl it, and I'm gonna clean everything off of it. We're just gonna have a little bit. And I'm gonna set it right there. And that concludes that set. He has a little feed bed here as well. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right down here and set up a snare. Uh, feed bed from his sticks and then right there's my snare with a little bit of sack oil. This is the second day uh, we did not catch him but you can see he was definitely back. We got fresh sticks there, fresh stick there, fresh sticks here. It's hard to make out but I could see drag marks right at the river bottom right down in there. What I'm gonna do tomorrow is we'll come in and we'll put a conibear bear and pinch that off right there. I mean he's still gonna have this entire avenue to get in back into here but he's definitely frequenting this with these fresh chew sticks. These were not here yesterday, and we took all the chew sticks that were here the day before and plowed them up right here. So we're on a mission. 